So, unbeaten run continues. Together yeah. with a clean sheet, but would it be fair to say that today's draw leaves you a little bit frustrated? Yeah, I think so. By the way we played, we weren't we weren't at it today. Yeah. Um, a few personnel played well. Like Alex was good at the back, and to be fair, so was Bushy, and and the back four was all right. But yeah, we we weren't at it today. And uh, when you're not at it, you make sure you try and don't get you, know, you don't get beat. Um, and when you look at other results gone today, that will be a point gained. Um, we know we've got to be better. We we're finding it a little bit, if you like, hard to hard to score goals, especially in setting off. We're just not we're not firing all cylinders and. Uh, we're getting personnel back now, so we've got five boys on the bench there that are all got a stake for the first team at the moment. But look, if you have said you go 11 games unbeaten in the league, you'd have bit your hands off. So, points wise, results wise, brilliant. Today's, yeah, today's a little, it's, really, it's not ideal, but then no one's got a good given right to come anywhere and win, especially away from home. So, we make sure when we're not at it and playing well, we, we, we take the point and you move on and you park it up and you come to the next one. But yeah, was, was we great today? No. Um, and there are plenty of teams where we played better than that and you lose games, you know, so it's it's just managing it. And, and today weren't great, but we'll take that point. As do most sides, Aylesbury do really seem to raise their game against us. Um, I get, you've touched on it there, but was it a case of them being at their best and uh, ourselves not oh, quite I, being at the races? I mean, I don't know because I don't watch Aylesbury every week, but... They're, they're like every team we've played. Every, every game's a tough game for us. We Either that's us, you know, not as good as what everyone thinks we are, or that's either that teams are raising it for us. So, you know, we've got a good, honest bunch of boys in there. They all want to do well. They all, they've all they all got great aspirations to do well. Um, they get frustrated when you don't win games. We all do, but I don't think they need to again today. We had this a couple of weeks ago when we drew with, with uh, King Zangley or Wolfram Abbey. Draws are all right. Draws, especially away from home. You, you draw your away games and win your home games, you, you'll be fine. So, yeah, there's an element of frustration. Of course there is, because you want to win every game and you want to score every game. But when you're not firing in the final third of the pitch and in midfield, we looked a little bit... We didn't look like we could keep the ball today. We, our passing was, was poor in there. I think what, what Cope done well, to be fair, he kept showing for it. And he, um, he always does. He's always brave on the ball. But, yeah, we weren't. We weren't, we weren't great in there, but then you make sure it's a nil-nil when you don't get beat. As you said there, make, making sure it was a nil-nil. Big Smudger pulled off a great save midway through the second half. Uh, he's been fantastic for you since coming in for Nathan, hasn't he? He's been brilliant. And, you know, like I said this the other week, we're, we're lucky because most teams, if they lose someone of Nathan's ability and putting all your eggs in one basket with Nathan, um, to then not stumble across, but to go through the phone book, find out Smudger's not playing, um, and then fancies it, which is a big thing because he does a lot of mileage to play for us. And uh, it, it ain't like he's going to pay for his mortgage, that's for sure, what he gets. So he does it for the love, and uh, he's been brilliant for us, you know. And uh, he's a big character, he's a big frame in that goal. Um, can't fault him, man. And we, I think he's played, what, 11 games now? So Nathan played eight, he's played 11. Um, he's the number one for us. But yeah, I mean, look, Nathan ain't gone anywhere we're just waiting for him to try and get fit but at the minute it, 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 we're lucky that Smudge has been out to step into his shoes because uh, they're both tremendous keepers another big game next week against AFC Dunstable at the Erie um, we'll have to be at our best to get something out of that won't we? we've got to be yeah. we've got to be we've proved in games when we're not at our best it's a real struggle you know and uh, today's point in case when you're not firing <laughs> it's, it is a struggle you know like well she's at the crossbar from you know what six yards out? So he's unlucky. He's hit the crossbar. You know, I missed one the other week. I think it was as easy as that. But <laughs> um, but yeah, it's yeah, but you take them. You just take them. You You look at other results. I actually danced the wall, I think today beat Biggleswade Town at Biggleswade. Um, so we know that proves they're a good side. Well, and Garden City uh, looked like it went to North Lee, and I think they've won two runs. So. There's no easy games in this league. Everyone's beating everyone. So if you go right now and take a point, wipe your mouth, move on, that'll do. On to the next one. And lastly, yeah, you, you've already mentioned it. The squad is looking strong and deep at the moment as players come back from injuries. Yeah. Um, com competition for places all over the pitch. It's fantastic. Yeah, it is. But it's just, like we've had this a few times this year, it's just keeping boys happy in and around it in the squad because 
every time someone gets left out for a couple of games, they've moved on, and they've, nine times out of ten, they've played higher. So, with it's look, you, you, you haven't got a magic wand. You can't keep everyone in the whole squad happy. We try to keep as many as we do, and we keep rotating it around when it's right to. Um, but look, boys have got to learn their shirts. You know, that happens it. It's coming from Watford. It was never a discussion that he was guaranteed to play minutes. He wasn't. Uh, he's come in and done well and done well again today in there. He'll get better and better. But, you know, lads have got to come in and keep their shirts. Don't give it up. Um, and that's, we want to try and do well this year. So that's what it's got to be. You know, you've got to you've got to fight for your shirt and you've got to wait your turn. And when you get your turn, you've got to take it. You know, it, there's no charity cases. Come in and keep your shirt in that team and play. That's the idea. Thank you very much, Lee. All right, sir. Thank you, mate.